Now welcome back to the flight simulator. When I say the flight simulator, I mean the flight simulator. This is actually Microsoft flight simulator, but it's also called the flight simulator. They even have their own website, the flight simulator. Isn't that weird? Which kind of does insist that it is the best flight simulator on this planet, right? But yeah, it really isn't, I think. Well, it looks very nice. As you can see, this is Microsoft flight simulator indeed that came out last year and it's been around like a few months. I've been playing this pretty much every day because of my videos. And uh, well, I still see quite a few problems with it and let's talk about a major problem that i've just been facing the whole time with this flight simulator and something i really miss and especially you know i'm not quite sure you have this in so many other flight simulators that i don't really understand why and it is definitely first of all the failures okay failures in general i mean for example <laughs> yeah i think this is quite a good example right now i have engine fire turned on and um, this is what it looks like to have an engine fire yeah you have the co-pilot dave he's also quite interested in our engine fire that we have I guess what is that yeah just a typical example okay see let me just talk you through this right here so there's this failure menu that you can only pretty much hiddenly find when you press on the aircraft and then there's failures yeah that took a while to load and there's only like a few to choose from with every plane pretty much there's only complete failure as in what is that supposed to mean there's the oil system which uh, is for the engine oil leak also engine fuel pump also engine in a way ignition also engine and fire also on the engine there's literally only engine failures that you pretty much half in this flight simulator, which is interesting, I think. Now, ignition means that you cannot turn the engine on, I guess. But if the engine's already on and then you turn the ignition as a failure on, then that doesn't have any effect on the flight. So this is not interesting anyway. Now, it's only fuel pump and, and the oil system slash leak that is interesting to us. And that's literally it to the failures. And you could already see what the engine fire looked like. I mean, <laughs> yeah, right. We just actually spawn here with an engine fire. Let me show you what is weird about it. All right, so here we are at approaching Frankfurt Airport. And as you can see right now, we have an engine failure or uh, an engine fire i would say and it uh when you are in flight it looks even weirder i mean look what is wrong with the fire here that's totally a weird fire i mean <laughs> yeah what's that fire i mean i mean what is that fire dude come on okay but for some reason our engine still works by the way too i mean it still somewhat worked let me just say that you know we will totally make this landing let me just say that and in the cockpit it doesn't even have any alarm and it only says fire here great normally every plane will just scream at you when, when it's on fire interesting let's come in now for a landing this will not be any issue at all here in this plane either, will it? Now, what is actually not included either is any landing gear failures. I mean, what we can try is actually landing without landing gear. Called a belly landing. Let's just put that up. That works too. Uh-oh. We're not gonna make it, are we? Okay, time to head for the trees. That has not gone very well. All right, TBM, the gliding ratio isn't all that good. I mean, plane is still alive. Good thing that we don't have any damage model. That's good to see. Yeah, great. I mean, we can see how some add-on planes do it because I don't know, maybe in an add-on plane, you can include failures or something. No, all it is to us is also oil systems from the engine, basically engine failures you can do. <laughs> yeah, well, let's see what an engine fire looks like then on the 777 that was released last week. All right, now the f engine fire on the Boeing. There's no engine fire. There's no engine fire. Is there any, any warning in the cockpit? Okay, there is a fire. A, a, look, a fire text saying here. I mean, look at this flight simulator. And, and, and the clouds. Just the clouds. That's all we need to say. Oh my goodness, the clouds are absolutely beautiful. Same with the scenery. Absolutely beautiful too. What is wrong with the, with the failures? I really don't get this. I mean, do they work fine? Uh, actually, not really. I mean, it doesn't even say here which engine is on fire. I would suggest that... Oh, both engines are now on fire. Okay, this will definitely now be a close call here for Nice Airport. See, our right engine has died. Our right engine is dying. Okay. I mean, it would have been a just the same visual effect as if we would have just turned off the engines in mid-flight. <laughs> We're gonna die, aren't we? We have no hydraulic control of this plane obviously but there's no ram air turbine that we can put out or anything so we're basically we're, we're uh fricked that's what we can say okay everybody it's now time to go for water landing we've had this before in the triple seven so i think this won't be that much of an issue great all the hydraulics have been lost, but this has been somewhat of a good landing. Probably somewhat survivable for some passengers or something. This has been great. I mean, there are some few add-ons that actually try to add some failure realism, like this random failures thing, but it cannot open it. License, 30-day trial. Your evaluation period has ended. Great, so that's not an option. <laughs> great. I mean, now we're back on board the A320. Also, no engine fire, apparently. Wait, where's the engine? I did it. I did order engine. Why isn't it given? Come on, where's the engine fire? This is actually another thing. While you are mid-flight, 
you cannot engage any failures here at all. So, no failures, I'm guessing? Ah, wait. Uh huh. I see. Yep, right engine is dying. You can tell that definitely it's losing power. It's losing quite a lot of performance right here. It doesn't show it here visually, which may be a little bit of a bad thing, but you know, let me just, let's just imagine it. It's the power of imagination. Uh, but yeah, we have one engine left, so it doesn't, doesn't really matter. Great. I think it would be just more realistic if we just turned off the right engine like that. I think that, that, that'll work better. This is great. Good. We've now lost our right engine. This is perfect realism. Yeah, this is just really a little, little disappointing, a little boring, I would guess. I mean, this is what flight simulators are for, right? Now, I do want to simulate one failure, and that is landing gear failure. You know, sometimes landing gear is stuck in the fuselage, and then you do something that's called a belly landing, of course. Now, of course, we're going to do one here, uh, and we can, of course, do that failure too, simulated by just not putting out the landing gear. How about that? that? That is also a way to go. I mean, it's the same with the engine failure. You can just not turn on the engines at all, at all and that'll be also somewhat of a failure, right? You have the same effect, too. <laughs> <laughs> good, let's go for a landing gear without landing gear. Let's see what's gonna happen. I like how it doesn't even say here in our uh, in our displays that there's an engine fire going on, or there's a, there's anything going wrong with the engine. Uh, ironically, though, it does warn us about the landing gear not being put down. This is great. Let's come in for a bit of a landing here. All right, make it smooth. Actually, this is that's the proper way to go. Come on, touchdown already. There we go. Oh, damn, the sounds are a little disappointing. Sounds like sandpaper or something. Come on, there we go. All right, we're stopping just nicely. That has been a very realistic belly landing. <laughs> Great. I mean, this is really just where we start to miss the X-Plane Flight Simulator, for example. Way more realistic, a little uglier, but way more realistic, for sure. For example, especially with the failures that we can just add by pressing here, here, and we can really do anything we want, genuinely. For example, we also have a bird strike. There it is. See, I haven't talked about bird strikes in flight simulators for so long, but that's because there's no bird strikes in the Microsoft Flight Simulator. Come on. Let's just do one real quick actually as well that's no problem of course here apply change and here we go birds birds whoa look wasn't this amazing? You could see birds. There were birds. And we, and we can actually see engine fire. We have an actual compressor stall from the... Shut up. Let's go ahead and extinguish the engine. There we go. Something we can, by the way, not use in Microsoft either is uh, <clears throat> the extinguishers of the airplane, which is interesting. Let's come in for... Let's come in here for a quick little landing here at La Mole Airport. No problem at all. We're coming a little kamikaze, not particularly stabilized. But we have literally there's just one last engine to bird strike, so... Shut up. Shut up. Let's come in for a landing. This is gonna go perfectly fine, just as it does. Good. Oh, we're coming out without landing gear. Okay. Oh, well, time for that um, belly landing thing I was talking about earlier. Come on. There we go. Looking good. Okay, we have left our run. That's not gone very well. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. Has this gone well, though, hasn't it? Come on. This is the Vader that we just have here. I mean, something else that I think works here, too, is just removing parts of the wings or removing the entire wing in its entirety. What did I just say? Uh, here we can actually just remove the right or left wing. Come on. I mean, isn't that good? Is it? Come on. Like, why would you not want to do that? Let's pull the parachute. There we go. Parachute's pulled. And we are saved because this is a serious plane, a serious jet. Look, I mean, isn't that just a whole lot of fun? I mean, really, the, even the mobile flight simulators have failed at this point. I mean, X-Plane Mobile, but also Real Flight Simulator, but Microsoft doesn't. Maybe that's to come for the next few updates, or maybe in a new add-on or something. That's something to look forward to. But so far, not really. This is just really a little example of, you know, what is going on with the realism side of Microsoft. It is a very beautiful flight simulator, though, isn't it? So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night.